hi uh, this video tutorial i will cover how to read uh, checkbox values basically that is a multiple values from the html uh, form data using uh, Charlotte api provided methods okay and uh, before you watch this video tutorial please log into my channel and watch uh, uh, Charlotte form data introduction video tutorial then come and watch this tutorial so that you will understand this tutorial very clearly okay uh, to explain how to read checkbox values from the form data, I have created uh, uh, one web application called the Charlotte Form Data Checkbox. Okay, uh, so first I will build the project and uh, then I will deploy in Tomcat. Clicking on export and uh, selecting var next and browsing and I'm placing the Charlotte form data checkbox dot var inside the Tomcat uh, web apps folder and clicking on finish and I'm going to start the server Uh, survey has been started uh, now I'm going to access the application using uh, this URL uh, HTTP colon uh, double slash localhost colon 8080 Charlotte form data checkbox this is a context route okay so I'm accessing that so it is displaying the index.html uh, content so we'll see index.html content so uh, it has uh, select books uh, heading and uh, uh, one select books link so when you click on that link it will uh, forward to uh, books.html ok so I am going to click uh, select books link so it opens uh, book.html content so we will see books.html what is there so it has uh, checkbox and uh, name of all checkbox is same book name book name book name okay and uh, one book name is java another one is cybernet another one is web service okay that is what uh, you are seeing here okay so you can select the checkboxes and you can click on uh, select book it will uh, send the request to the server action will be books okay and it will use uh, method as get so before I select and uh, click on uh, select book uh, button I am going to uh, open uh, web developer uh, developer toolbar uh, right side you can see the developer toolbar has been opened and uh, now I am going to select the Java and Hibernate and clicking on select book so once I click on select book uh, the request goes to the server uh, here you can see the URL pattern is uh, books and uh, uh, there are two book names I selected right that you can see it in the top so you can see the parameter name for the uh, both books are uh, same book name that is a parameter name ok and uh, once request goes to the server the server will forward the request to the server container and the server container what it will do is uh, it will check the uh, URL pattern in the web.xml so here URL pattern is books so I will open web.xml so you can see the books uh, URL pattern is here so based on that it will identify the corresponding server class so in this case corresponding server class is checkbox uh, server so it will load this uh, servlet class and it will instantiate then it will call the init method of uh, this servlet uh, class uh, then servlet container will call the uh, do get method to handle the request because uh, we specified a method name as uh, get in the uh, books.html ok Uh, checkbox alert has uh, uh, four methods uh, the first method is init so this init method will be called by the servlet container to initialize the servlet and uh, there is a do get method uh, this method will be used to uh, 
uh, process the request and uh, generate the response and send it back to the client okay so here uh, what we are doing is uh, so the book name uh, that is a parameter name right so that you are uh, seeing in the top so there are two book names are there because same uh, parameter name right and uh, two values are there right java and hibernate so how to get this one so that is what we are doing here we are passing the book name uh, in the request dot get parameter values method okay so this method will return values that is a string array then we can iterate and we can get the uh, value okay so that is what you are seeing here okay output of uh, that one selected books are uh, java and hibernate and it has one more method called uh, do post if uh, post uh, method is uh, specified in the book the books dot html then uh, this method will be called uh, this method will uh, call uh, uh, do get method internally to process the request and uh, destroy method will be called uh, when the servlet is taken out of service okay so i'm clicking uh, developer toolbar uh, get row so you can see uh, request header response header and uh, request method is get status code is 200 status code uh, 200 means uh, server has processed the request successfully uh, so it returns uh, 200 and you can see the params so there are two params are passed but uh, same parameter name and uh, you can see the response uh, from the server to the client and uh, this is the output uh, you are seeing here in the proper uh, format okay and this is about how to read uh, checkbox value uh, using servlet api provided methods and thanks for watching bye